Welcome everybody to the Tech Cave. My name is RJ. Today, Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this before. There is a million and one, probably more than a million and one, videos of this on YouTube. But you've probably not seen Grand Theft Auto like this. Well, you may have, because there's one or two videos out um, from the awesome dude that developed a hack to work Grand Theft Auto 5 with the 5. Now, there you go, there's my Vive controller controlling my gun and I can aim down the uh, sights like you can in a lot of VR games as you used to. So this is in Grand Theft Auto and also I can walk around in room scale and you should see there's the chaperone system coming on. So, and you can crouch down, you can teleport, so I can teleport to here and you can look around things things get a bit skewy when you look up it kind of like the, the zooming or whatever that's going on makes you go all a bit strange but hey it's a free development and it's uh, early days alpha I think that this has just come out fairly recently I'm gonna put a link to um, the site of the guy who's developed this but uh, there we go jog on darling good work Poppy pop. Run! Oh, you didn't run fast enough. Dear, oh dear. This does not bring out the best in people, does it, this game? It really doesn't. So, yeah, you download his zip file, you download um, a developer's uh, kit, and you just stick the files in the GTA uh, directory. There's about 10 files in all. Um, and then you just go into the Steam, put a couple of things, uh, or add GTA 5 if you haven't got it from Steam, um, just add it as a non-Steam game, and then in the properties, type in a bit of code that he's put on his website, it takes like, all of 10 minutes to set up, super easy. Um, so the D-pads, you can go backwards, forwards, left and right, you can grab the control and you can punch people, um, you can change the weapons with the menu button on the top, uh, and then you can teleport. Uh, you have to be careful sometimes you teleport into buildings and then fall off the map. Where the green spot is, jumps you into the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk on, man. Walk on. This is my ride now. Hey! This is cool when you're sat in the car. The scale's all a bit sort of skewy. It seems like it's... I don't know. Yeah, it does feel like my hand is kind of over where that door is. So the scale's not too bad, but it sort of warps a little bit. But what's cool is that you can line stuff up through the windows and look behind and then, hey, boom, got you. Look at him run, run. Driving is a bit challenging. Let's put it, mild, <laughs> putting it mildly with the, um, the little pad with this. However, I've seen the, um, the guy who developed this has plugged his uh, steering wheel in, which is cool. So he's just kind of stood next to his steering wheel, and then when he gets into the car, put the steering wheel, he jump, you know, use the steering wheel to control. So that's super cool. Uh, I need to try that. Um, it is flickering a little bit. You've got to mess with the settings. Uh, I'm super sampling at the moment. I need to turn that off, I think. So it's getting a little bit jittery for me. Um, but it's playable. Where you point the gun, where you point the controller is where you actually go. So I'll point it that way, and then the T-pad will go that way. So you can look in one direction, and you can yet run sort of back. Oh! There you go. It's, that's what you can hide behind a wall and then just, woohoo! Poke your gun there. How do I get in that trailer? I want to get inside that trailer. You're yeah, in the trailer! <laughs> I don't think I want to let the rocket launcher off though in here. So. Ah, oh, this is awesome! So I'm poking my head out of the trailer. Gotcha. I tell you what's cool about this, I'm holding the grip 
the vibe grip with two hands on one grip. And that really does feel now like I've got a rocket launcher. Well, I don't know. I've never held a rocket launcher in my life. Oh, oh, I've just teleported. <laughs> I teleported into their truck. Oops, yeah, but, um, and we're back. So here we go. My Vogue controller is um, animated, this rocket launcher. What's kind of cool, yeah, I can, that's about where my shoulder is. And you put that there, you put the eye sight, and you can hold the controller with both hands, line it up. Oh, that is brilliant. Oh! I'll give that a 6.3. Nice form. I love the way I can hide around a corner and look around and just shoot away into the crowd. So that's a uh, person. So there we go, Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Vive. Room scale. Hello. That's a strutty walk, isn't it? Um, where was I? <laughs> Easily distracted. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Um, but it's nice that um, with the room scale, you're at the same height as, whoa, whoa, stop walking. As people, look at them in the eye, so it gives you that level of immersion. It's just all girls around here. There's no dudes. Oh, there's a dude. Yeah, so there we go. So, with the room scale, can I sit down? Let's just sit next to this. <laughs> yeah, how's it going, bro? Went for the, oh, was this someone I said? How rude! Well, I'm going to shoot you in the head. Damn rudeness. Can't run away from me. I can teleport faster than you can run. There we go. Yeah. So there we go. Grand Theft Auto 5. My name is RJ. This is the Tech Cave. Hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you've liked this video, hit the like button for me. And if you like my videos and you want to see any more um, delicious VR content, then subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Boom. Boom. Where'd that go?